South Korea is officially the first nation in the world to make one out of every 10 workers a robot. South Korea is a powerhouse in East Asia, known for cutting edge electronics and advancing the automotive industry. And by switching 10% of its entire workforce to the robots, that means there are over 3 million robots actively working in South Korea. There's 28.8 million South Koreans that are employed. That number comes from September of 2023. And now South Korea is looking at over 1,100 robots per every 10,000 employees. I believe that this transition puts South Korea in the lead as one of the innovative nations approaching the future of work from an AGI and soon ASI perspective. And I believe that every industry, every nation should be approaching work in this way. How do we free up our laborers to do better work by replacing them with automation and AI? In this video, I'm going to dig a little bit more into this, how to accurately think of job automation, why the only correct viewpoint is a positive one. Yeah, it's a bold statement, but I believe it to be 100% true and some predictions about what's coming. And hey, if we haven't met, I'm Julie McCoy. I explore the future of work against the crossover of humanity's well-being in the AI age. It is my belief that if AGI isn't already here, it is just a short moment away. And when everything clicks into place and this rapid, sharp growth of acceleration that we are currently living in the middle of with AI, automation and technology, well, it's my belief this will advance the human race like none other. We are living in the fourth industrial revolution and we will approach the post-labor economy very, very soon. Meaning our kids won't have to work for a living. Instead, they will be investors in a whole new era and it won't be driven by old standards. It will have a new form of currency. I believe most of it will be on the blockchain and if we work together and play our cards right, we can have abundance for all. And honestly, somebody that should not be alive today. Yeah, I wrote a memoir called Woman Rising about my life growing up in a cult. I grew up literally in extreme peril. So when I tell you I should not be alive today, I really shouldn't. I have seen miracles that are unexplainable and I've lived through them myself. I'm here despite the odds. I'm living proof of what I believe. And as a forever optimist, I'm here to give you a realist, but also positive, optimistic outlook on what is coming our way. And listen, I've heard from a lot of you in the comments, some of you are the only ones in your family, in your workplace, in your industry that see the future of what's coming as the single greatest instrument of abundance. And you might be the only one willing to install these things in your business and in your life. I am here to cheer you on. And if you are the only one in your circle that believes all this to be true, good for you. I think that dynamic will change very soon as this spike of accelerated progress just continues and continues. And we have to face the music. At least you will have adapted in time. All right, so about mid this year, 2024, I started telling you right here on my YouTube channel about a study that did not make the news, but absolutely blew my mind. This study came out this January of 2024, it was the largest study of its time inside this 39 page detailed analysis over 2700 AI researchers got together to predict the future of work. And they believed that the full automation of every human job from driving a truck to writing a New York Times bestseller was actually going to happen. And they put it around the year 2120. And in other videos, I have told you, if you cross-reference that with the growth of GPT, which is around 40 to 50 years ahead of predicted schedule, well, I have believed that the automation of all jobs is going to be way sooner than that. 
And as somebody eating my own dog food, boy, it's the most delicious dog food. I have left all the human work I did. I shut down. I sold a writing business. I banked on everything that is actually now happening. I believed it to be true. In January 2023, I started working in AI. I knew nothing about artificial intelligence, but I was an entrepreneur and a top content marketer. Most importantly, also a critical thinker. And so I loved every bit of artificial intelligence. As I worked full-time in it, I worked with one of the best human-like AI content writers. Back when LLMs weren't very human-like, that problem is being solved with every iteration of the new models inside. That problem is now being solved. We have human-like content in the frontier models. It's all in how you train the data and guide the outputs. I got to see firsthand the explosion of what was happening. And in October of 2024, I decided to leave the single AI platform I was working at and start my own AI integrations company called First Movers. And when I started this company in October of 2024, it was based on one big vision, one huge idea and belief I had, which was that if AGI wasn't already here, it was just a moment around the corner. And now, as of December 2024, we have quantum chips being prepared for commercial usage, which allows us to process billions of years of data inside five minutes. We have AI accelerating that entire industry of quantum. We have Google's Alpha chip. We have Google Alpha Qubit, which is an AI-based decoder literally figuring out quantum computing errors on its own. I mean, we are leaping forward even faster than I thought. In OpenAI, we have O1, the full model. We have O1 Pro capable of reasoning through science, programming, and mathematics at a world-class philosopher level. Yeah, the future of work is here, and it's going to be the people with the vision that see what is possible, even when others don't, that tap into the first mover's advantage. And I'm telling you, time is of the essence. The sooner you do that, the sooner you gain all your time back, all your freedom, and you are equipped to live that post-labor lifestyle that is coming coming towards us. South Korea has done a visionary thing by literally installing as 10% of its entire workforce, the robots. And I'll tell you, whenever you hear the myth that the earth is going to be overpopulated, well, just know that that's a myth. There's an incredible book I've read called Super Abundance, and it is the story of population growth, innovation, and human flourishing on an infinitely bountiful planet. It is a fact-based perspective that instead of over population, we have an earth capable of supporting far more humans and resources than are currently filling it. And if you look at the direct reason that South Korea filled 10% of its workforce with robots, it's because of a declining birth rate that we are seeing around the world. Did you know that in 2023, 47% of adults in America don't have children? That is the highest rate we've ever seen in America. In 2023, South Korea's fertility rate dropped to a record low 0.7. The president of South Korea, Yoon suk yeol declared the declining birth rate a national emergency. And so this rise of the robots is a direct answer to there not being enough humans to support the work and the output we need to forward innovation, build incredible progress, and spearhead the economy. South Korea is a country that has proven itself to be capable of adaptation, embracing new technologies before other nations do. We would be wise to take a page from their book. I am telling you in my company at First Movers, one thing I have told my team is replace yourself as fast as you can with automation. And it's funny, whenever I go to my CAIO, my chief AI officer, Alex, and yeah, we dropped AI right in the middle of a C roll. We are replacing it before the robots do. When I ask him for something, he turns around and gives me a bot he's built that completely automates that thing I just asked for. Every time he does that, I rejoice because I know that that means 
Alex gets to do better, deeper thought work with our clients, apply his brain to the state of human being instead the state of human doing, which is where we burn out, get tired, get hungry in a constant state of doing. If you can frame that one thought, you will completely transform your own future. Ask yourself, how do I automate more and more of my doing from day to day? That's why I can't wait to get a humanoid in my house to cook, clean, do the laundry, and free up even more of my time so I can get back to being a human being, spending time with my family, my friends, my kids, helping more people, getting out in nature, reading, filling my mind with beautiful things instead of being pressed from task to task. If this is our future, sign me up. This is what I see with AGI coming towards us. Like I said, might be already here and we're headed towards ASI. What are your thoughts of what South Korea did? Do you also believe that the future of work is automation? I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Let me know your questions, your thoughts, your comments. It's an honor to have a lot of smart people watch my YouTube channel. So I want to thank you for being here along on this journey with me. And as always, if you've subscribed to my channel here on Julie McCoy, I will see you down the next rabbit hole.